What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another train and pack review and this time we are taking a look at Romario. Romario. Romario, yes. It is the Brazilian man, the flair man, and I think the best. I'm going to christen him lads, genuinely, right? For me, having played the game for a long, long time, I'm going to say that Romario is the best player in the game. And that is just my opinion, but I think it's a tried and tested uh, opinion that's been formed he has won me so many games. He's popped up in different areas, you know, when he has no right to pop up, lads, genuinely, right? So I, I do think that he is the best player. If you're looking at overall players, he's definitely in top three. I would say him, Patrick Vieira, and Beckenbauer are probably three of the most overpowered players. Now, there are players similar to him that kind of fit the role, such as Michael Owen and Romario Romanegi is also there. Cruyff is also there. I will do a kind of a tier list on it quite soon because a lot of people have been asking me, especially newcomers. But... Let's get down to business with Romario. Fox in the box, lads, an absolutely insane card, right? So the biggest thing when you're using a Fox in the box is it, it kind of explains it in the card. You want him to be in the box as often as possible. He won't come as deep as a deep line forward. He's not going to be passing the ball. He's not really going to be bringing players into the game. It's literally pass the ball to Romario. Maybe a one-two touch that you can do with any player, you know, especially if you put on one-touch pass on Romario which is a must if you are playing him that way but for all intents and purposes we are going to be using Romario as kind of a run and gun and I think no matter what play style no matter what tactic no matter how good of you are at the game literally no matter what you do this guy is able to be like used in any formation any tactics he's one of those players he's kind of like a unicorn player he's so rare that you have every stat you could possibly want there's a very key way of training him which we'll show you in a second um, especially if you're struggling to score goals, we have a different alternative way of training him as well. But I genuinely, I can't rate him highly enough, lads. He is an absolutely insane player, and I do think that he is worth it to have in any squad. Now, whether you spin or not for him, is he going to get you to Division 1 by himself? I mean, you know, he's not. It depends, obviously, how good you are at the game and stuff, but he is definitely the most, I think, the most hard-to-stop striker in the game that I've come up against and that I've played with. I just play with so well with him, right? Double touch, flip flap, soul control, and then the finishing skills are to die for. Chip shot control, long range shooting, acrobatic finishing, and first time shot with outside curler. The amount of outside the foot or on the outside of the foot curl shots I've got with Romario when he just cuts in, shimmies, shakes, uh, shakes and bakes like uh, Ricky Bobby, and then just literally puts it in the back of the net with a lovely little finish. He's the best finisher in the game with low shots, like not much power, just kind of low into the bottom corner, right? And you can see why here, straight off the rip. 80, 80, and 80 for offensive awareness, ball control, and tight possession. 80 for finishing, 83 for acceleration, and 80 balance. So you can see exactly where they're kind of bringing this card, right? Now, we do have two different versions of him, lads, right? We do have the first version, which is going to be your outright striker. If you like to score goals with the best possible outcome when you're in front of goal, right? With the player skills that this guy has, putting Romario up, neglecting his dribbling and his dexterity and lower body strength a little bit more than I would recommend. You do get 94 finishing, which also brings up the curl to 85. So that means that literally, lads, when you are in front of goal, anywhere in the box at all, it's literally point and shoot with a 94 rated reversion of Romario. You can curl it around strike or defenders. You can curl it around the keeper. Obviously, it takes a little bit of practice, but if you do pack him, get into uh, training mode and just practice just bearing down on goal and just slotting it in, you know, halfway on the power bar, little finesse, little curl shots, you know, first time shots when he gets the ball in from crosses, low or high, it doesn't matter how tall he is, this guy's able to even score headers with that acrobatic finishing, he just seems to be a magnet to the ball, right, now do I recommend this version, if you are a newcomer and you're really struggling to score goals, this guy will be a point and score for you, like he's so good, his finishing is exceptional, his tight possession at 85 is more than enough, the offensive awareness will make, you know, really good runs. But all we're really looking at there is the finishing and the curl. We're putting 14 into shooting, which is massively overkill for this card. And I do think that it is probably something that you'll need to really think about. Now, as for the ultimate version of him, lads, there is only one way I'm going to be looking. And that is the 95 rated version. So this one is 95 as well. But this 95 rated version of him, lads, is insane. Look at the stats there. And anyone that has played the game for longer than a month will realize how important these stats are for a center forward, right? The one thing we're lacking that's not in the 90s here 
is finishing at 88, right? So if we wanted to get that, we would have to either, you know, take down the dribbling or dexterity below 90 um, to get to finishing. But I genuinely, lads, I have played, and I'll show you my version of Romario here in a second, I have played hundreds of matches with Romario, and his finishing is at about an 88, 89, and it goes up with the form arrow because he's always on B, and he has unwavering form. That's going to go into the 90s with the form arrow. Do you know what I mean? So you don't need to worry too much about that. You're going to get that boost as a center forward. On top of that, we've got 93 acceleration, 90 balance, 90 dribbling, 93 ball control and tight possession, and 90 offensive awareness. Especially for a fox in the box, you need to have that offensive awareness uh, as high as you possibly can. Um, and the balance, because he's a smaller player, he's going to have good center of gravity. You're going to be able to kind of zip in and zip out of challenges, brush people off. I have literally, you know, with Romario lads, you are able to like, you know, run side to side with the likes of Rudiger and Van Dijk and literally just be able to get the ball out of your feet before they can, you know, defend you. He's one of those like kind of hidden gem player, not hidden gem, but one of those kind of like, you know, all rounder players that is unbelievable, right? Now I'm going to show you my version of Romario lads here, right? So we are over here. This is the legend edition of Romario that I got on day one, right? On day one of the game being released, okay? And this is the way I trained him up. So as you can see there, he's got 89 offensive awareness. He's got 89 acceleration, 86 speed, um, which is kind of a key one for him with the difference between this card and the other card. But, you know, in hindsight, I didn't need to give him as much speed. 89 balance. And then also the key one here for him is that he has 89 finishing as well. So this version that we're looking at here is my card. And I probably be playing him in a two pronged attack with Rashford or whoever you want to slot in there. Once you have a bit of support from the wing, and you have a bit of support that you're able to one-two with um, and get it into these areas of the pitch, turn and shoot, or else you could play somebody like Collar if you wanted to, to be able to knock down the ball, or you could play somebody, you know, that's just able to win the ball airily. It doesn't really matter who it is, even if you're starting off. This Romario is insane, um, and especially with this one that we have here, he's got his stats, every, every stat that you have there um, that I have in my version of Romario that just bangs in goals for fun. Go back and watch my Dream Team Chronicles. This guy has got better stats than every single one of them except for speed. And you don't need speed and stamina for the role you're going to be playing on Romario because you are going to be sticking counter target on him, which means he's going to stay up in the top, right? So obviously you can literally just put this on, individual instructions, attack, or sorry, um, we can put offensive on in there if we want, but defense, we're going to go counter attack and we're going to just put Romario on. Center forwards stay in the vicinity of the opposition box rather than dropping back to help defense. It means that these forwards do not use up energy running back and forward. This is a must for this version of Romario, lads, with the stamina at 76. And for any player that has less than 80 stamina, actually, is a key tip, right? So that's one thing to keep in mind, right? The other thing I would say as well is that Romario is the type of player that you need to get the ball to his feet very quickly and very often on counterattacks. And you need to be able to wrap it with your movements. It doesn't matter. I play out wide. I still get a lot of counterattacks where you're squaring it to Romario, take a touch and pop it in. And then the last thing we will look at as well, lads, is what skills to put on him. So I do think, as always, one touch pass is a key one. If you are looking at that one um, that you want to train up with him is, is the one touch pass. This is what I've given my version of Romario. I've given him chip shot control, knuckle shot, dipping shot, long throw, a heel trick. Obviously, um, long throw is going to be replaced. I just threw that on him when it was part of, part of the other players that I was legacy training. So if you can get something else like that, such as one touch pass on this card, it would be an insane card. You know, you could also put super sub if you wanted the best super sub in the game. But yeah, one touch pass. You've got a couple of other um, dribbling and uh, shooting skills as well. Chip shot control is on this guy by default. It wasn't on the version of him that I had. So you've got a lot of extra skills on this big time as well, including long range shooting, which is on both. But you've also got soul control and you have got a chip shot control as well. So there's a lot of different things that you have on this card, which are going to make a bit of a difference for you. So that is it, lads, for me. I will be back quite soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think and I will talk to you in a bit.